Hi, how's it going everyone? Welcome to another Django tutorial. If you're new here, be sure to check out some of my other videos. And if you like the content, be sure to subscribe and like for more. In today's video, I'll be taking you guys through template filters in Django. And we'll also go through creating custom template filters as well. Template filters in Django provide a simple way to run predefined Python functions in our templates. So let's say you pass a number to your Django template and you'd like to run a simple calculation using the value pass. You can use the built-in add filter to do that. So for today's video, I've set up a simple Django application and we'll go over three built-in filters and we'll go over the process of creating our own custom filter as well. So to get the built-in filters in Django, you can go through the documentation and I'll share the link to this page uh, in the description below. So for example, let's uh, maybe pass a value to our template here. If I go in my application, just head to my view, as you can see, I'm just returning an index.html file from my templates folder here. So I'll pass along a value and the value here will be hello world. Now the first uh, built-in filter we can have a look at is the length. So the length filter. So I'll first display my value, which will be hello world. And then I can get the length of the hello world text by simply adding the uh, length filter. And that will return 11. We can also do filters on dates. So if my value was a date, so I've already imported date time there. I can simply pass uh, the current date and then I can display it here. So as you can see, it returns Feb 20. And then I can maybe uh, filter this date and pass the parameter, which will be the format of the date I want. So year, month, and day. Then I get that. I can get the full month as well. Feb and the day which will be Sunday. So yeah, uh, I'm sure this kind of gives you an idea of how filters uh, work in Django. Uh, one last one, maybe we can do an addition. So for my value, I'll pass the number five and then I'll use the add filter to add an additional five to the value that I passed and that should return 10. So yeah, that's a, uh, basically the idea of filters and tags in Django. So to create your own custom filters, uh, you can go through the documentation here. I'll also share the link to, the, uh, to this in the description. So the first thing we need to do is create a folder called template tags. So let me copy that. So in our application, create template tags and make sure that the app that you've created is added into your list of uh, installed apps in the settings.py file. So in this new folder that we just created, we need to create an init.py file. So we can just copy this and it will just be a blank file. And then we can then also add uh, the file that will contain our tag. So in my case, I'll just call it the app tags.py. And then the first thing we need to import is template from Django. So from Django import template. And then we need to create a new uh, template library instance. So for that, we'll create a variable called register equals template dot library. And then uh, for my custom uh, template, what I want is I'm going to pass a value here, which will be 5,000. And I want this value to be displayed as a currency in my in my template here. So there's no built-in uh, filter that I'm aware of that does that for you in Django. So you can build your own. So let's do that by maybe creating a new function. We'll call it render currency. And this will take in the value that will pass. And what I want to return is the currency format. So I'll say return. And for my currency format, I'll just use uh, Python uh, text formatting. So this will be uh, the R and then colon. Yeah, so using the text formatting, I'll just uh, convert the value to a currency. And then we need to register our new 
uh, filter that we just created. To do that, we'll just call register dot filter. And then the first parameter that we're gonna pass is the name of our new filter. And then the second parameter will be the function that we just created. So yeah, so that's our template text folder. And then back to our template in our index.html. Here we need to load uh, the file that we just created. So this will be app tags. So I'll just go back and copy the name. So at the very top there, I'll just load then the name of my uh, file. So if I go back to my browser, I'm currently just displaying the value. So I'll just reload, then I have the value. But now if I pass my render currency, let me just get that, which will be that one. It should convert my value to a currency format. And there we go. So yeah. So yeah, that's how you'd go about creating custom filters and tags in Django. If this video was helpful, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Cheers.